In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to make an expert advisor for MT5 using ChatGPT, how to run through your errors and then get ChatGPT to fix them, and then hopefully we'll have a working bot. Let's get to it. I'm going to start off in ChatGPT, and all I'm going to do is ask for a simple bot that buys every 30 minutes for the first two hours of the DAX session. So I'll create my prompt. So as this creates the algorithm concept, I'll be able to copy and paste that into the MT5 platform and I'll show you just how to do that shortly. It's still building out the code and I can see here that it's using some sentiment from MQL4 so we're going to have to get that to fix it up shortly. All I'm going to do though is hit copy. I've got my IDE icon here which is basically takes me into the code editor. When I get inside I want to go new, expert advisor, give it a name, so chat GPT buyer, I'll go next, 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 control A to copy all and delete, we'll compile that. We've got some errors down here in this error tab, so I'm going to now copy, so highlight it all, copy, go back to chat GPT, paste that in, it will realize that it's done MQL4 when I've asked for MQL5 and it's going to rewrite that for me. So I'll go control A to copy, uh, to highlight it all I should say, delete and simply paste the whole new code in and compile. We can see we've got no errors, but let's go and test it. I'm just going to press control R to bring up the strategy tester, single, We've got ChatGPT buyer here. We'll find the German 40. We'll put it on a 30 minute. We'll turn on the visual mode and hit start. As you can probably see, the trades are going in, but they don't have an exit point, and it's not trading if there's a trade in the market. So I'll stop that, and we'll go back to the drawing board. I'm now here in ChatGPT, and I'm going to ask it to close when the profit is at 5% for the day, and I'm going to ask it to not limit the trades for every half hour. So we've got some new features getting added in by ChatGPT. We may have to do an error check, just like we did before, where we simply copy and paste the errors back over. And as we wait for that to complete, we'll copy that over. I'm just going to Control A to highlight it all, delete and paste. We'll go compile, there's no errors according to this, and I'll go test it again. We can see it's working, I've just hit Control G to get rid of the grid, and it's bringing the stops to break even. Now it's unlikely that we're going to hit the 5% because we're trading at too small a volume. I've stopped it there, we can see we've got about $300 profit. I'm going to close this and have another play around with the volume. I'm just back in ChatGPT and I'm just going to ask it to trade at 1% risk and add in stops at 40 points. We'll wipe it all out and paste it back in, compile, and test again. You've got the journal tab here and we can see an invalid volume. So we're going to have to go back, I'll stop that, and let ChatGPT know that there is an issue with the volume. The reason for this is probably because it's trying to buy 237 lots when the maximum volume is 100. So I'm going to have to write that into the ChatGPT prompt. So 
So ChatGPT has given me the section, but then below it will also give me the entire code. So I'll wait for that to complete. I've pasted that in and we'll compile. No errors, but we'll check the volume issues now. We'll close the strategy tester and go back to open a new window. We can see the journal is now working and we've hit our 5% quite quickly. I'll speed things up a little just to see if it continues. It looks like there may be an issue where it no longer trades once we've hit that 5%. So I'll just clarify the conditions of the target being met and to continue trading once we've hit that profit. Once again, I'll go back, clear it all and paste it in. And we'll go back and test now. We can see that now that we're not closing at the 5%. So I'll tell ChatGPT that that's not working now. When working with ChatGPT, it's important to be very clear in what you want, and you can actually create most of the prompt up front if you think out in pseudocode what you really want to happen. This is just a quick video to show how you can adapt and change the code in a ChatGPT chat and quickly get something to work. Let's see if this works now. You can always remember to look into the journal to see what's actually happened and to find any errors that might be occurring, as well as check the volume that's being placed and so on. I'm going to speed this up a little. Now it looks like when trades are getting entered, it's closing at the 5% regardless of the equity change. So we actually want to ensure that it can continue to grow above and beyond the initial 5%. So let's see if we can make some changes there. So here it's given me some replacement logic, but I want it to complete the whole code for me. So I'll just say, please write the entire thing. Copy that in, compile, close this, and restart the tester. We can see it's now able to go above the 4K, and it seems to be working as expected. We can see the graph. We can still see that it's not closing the trades correctly though. It seems to be basing the next 5% off the highest high. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to see if we can fix that. Let's have another try. Sometimes when the tester is on too fast, you don't get to see the arrows come up in time. So I often slow it down just so I can see what's actually happening with the trade logic. What I'm looking for here is to see that when the balance draws down, we then still continue to close at 5% of that balance or is it looking for the high watermark still? We can see that it has come up from 01 to 05, which is a good sign. I'll let this play out and see how it goes. So 
it looks like we've ended up on 189k, so 89k above the starting balance. You can see the equity curve has some quite sharp drawdown periods, but this is a great example of how ChatGPT over a series of iterations can create some code that does work. There's a bit of back and forth as you saw in the video. However, with some additional filters such as market conditions, indicators, and other pseudocode concepts that you can think of, you can very easily make an MQL5 expert advisor on your own. Make sure you go through the proper testing before you run it live because there's several factors that do come into play when you're actually trading the live markets. So be very careful implementing this into the live market. Make sure you do all of your testing and be very thorough and make sure it's all working correctly. If you enjoyed this video or took something positive from it, please hit the like button below. It lets me know this is helping others. To see more great content like this, please subscribe, hit the bell icon and stay updated with the latest.